Hi, Cancer Moons. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Divine Femme Care at 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Cancer, unlimited to anyone who should come across this message or should this message find you. For this reading, I will be using the Melanated Classic Tarot deck and doing a six card spread. I'm going to go ahead and begin shuffling here. And for those of you um, who have viewed the previous Cancer Moon reading, I have gone back not only for your sign, but for Gemini, um, just spiritually guided to do so. I feel like there's a strong statement with um, the energy of bees, honeybees, bumblebees, any kind of bee that may be your spiritual totem. And um, if you're not sure about what your spiritual totem is, um, I would go ahead and look into that information about bees and the significance of the bees. Honey as well. And thinking of the honey that automatically took me to King Tut, where they had found uh, honey that was buried with him in his tomb. Or should I say a sarcophagus? I get this a couple more here. And we'll get started. The sun is setting. It's been, there's no sun outside here where I'm located, but it's uh, the sunset time is coming up. It's raining here. It's been storming, thunderstorming, and lightning. So that may be significant as well. So we'll begin with the first card here. Well, we have the Empress. All right. So I feel with this energy here, this could be you or this could be a strong presence that's in your life. The Empress represents all four queens, which is the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. The three energy, I'm automatically getting... That being tied to the other three energies that exist in the tarot deck. Mainly, I would say the three of wands is what I'm getting. Seeing the fire energy here and the different rays of red, orange, and yellow. Which are the beginning chakra colors as well. So that would be uh, the root, sacral, and solar plexus chakra. So these energies are... Uh, I would say very magnetic. I do feel that the root chakra is a main energy that has been utilized. And the magnetism of this presence here, of this empress here, is unavoidable, undeniable. The empress here is surrounded with abundance here. There's all the elements here that I feel are encompassing what this Empress is capable of and the power that comes along with the elements that the Empress is utilizing with their energy. Very strong Venus energy. The Venus energy is quite strong. We did have a new moon yesterday. This reading is timeless, so do take it as it resonates. But we did have um, a new moon yesterday that took place. And there may be, I feel like this is like a coming into um, an Empress energy here. But the overall energy of the Empress is someone who, again, encompasses all four queens. Where we have the cups energy, the mothering and nurturing energy. We have the swords energy, very intellectual, communicative, intuitive as well. I would tie that in with the cups energy as well. And then with the wands energy, very active and using that intellect to be able to make the correct actions as they move forward towards even more success. And then the queen of pentacles where there's stability and being surrounded with all the fine things in life, that Venus energy, those comforts, luxuries, finances, tendencies to be a little stubborn, but that stubbornness is for a very good reason. 
And so um, one of the things that I had learned about being surrounded by the trees, I feel, um, which was pretty cool, was the trees being able to kind of temper any airy energy that may come around. So I feel, you know, this empress is able to sit pretty and do what it is that they're here to do as they continue to gain more strength and more power. I feel this empress is in the birth of something new, either coming upon having a baby, being pregnant. Some of you may be pregnant, may be wanting to get pregnant. Or there's pregnancy in the works as far as your journey is concerned. If there is no relation to an actual physical being, then I do feel that that wands energy, that fire energy is the creation and the birth of something new, a new beginning of some sort that's taking place. And then with the Three of Pentacles energy, that Three energy going back to that, the Three of Pentacles that's working in collaboration with others, being sociable and being kind, outgoing, giving, going back to that Cups energy of nurturing. And then with the Three of Swords energy, I feel that Three, three of Swords energy, this Empress would not be able to be this Empress without having to go through some kind of heartache and some kind of pain that they've been able to utilize all four elements in a magician energy to be able to gain strength and gain power using that pain that um, that they have been through. Very, very, um, very, very smart and um, intellectual, intelligent. I feel they use their language in a way that is not like others. And the way they communicate is, I feel, not very... It's understood, but it's not understood by many. I feel they speak and they move in a way that just isn't understood by, by a lot of others. And that I would attribute to uh, Pisces energy, cup energy, where they're just beyond this world here here to do a, a special thing, a special have a special purpose to make the world a better place and to be representative of the love that the Empress totally embodies all throughout, within and without as well. And I'm seeing the face of this Empress here that's kind of blending in with the sun. Just overall getting, you know, they have that sun energy with them everywhere that they go and they bring that sunlight whether it be in more sun or, you know, in the darkness. But anywhere that they go, they're bringing that sunlight energy. Which is super awesome and super beautiful. So the second card, and I do feel with this three energy, I'm getting a very strong, powerful energy with that three. With the masculine and the feminine and then the divine connection. And so whatever the third card is going to be, I do feel that that Empress is going to be very strongly tied in or that card is going to be very strongly tied in with the Empress as well. With this being the first card, that's a very strong statement. And again, this could be you or this could be how you are seeing someone present in your life. And they may like fruit as well. I kept looking at the strawberries. These look like strawberries to me. And they may like fruit and eat a lot of fruit. Just very of the earth, a, a, a very strong earth goddess. One who really truly loves nature and being out in nature. The second card, we have the wheel of fortune. <laughs> so I do feel that, you know, if this is you, the things are turning in your favor. Because overall, we have this very strong, powerful energy. I'm getting this as magician energy, even though this is the Empress, but also being able to utilize all the elements that are being spun in the Empress's favor. And so with the Wheel of Fortune, I do feel that this is the universe's way of speaking and saying that they have more of a hand in this as the Empress is sitting pretty, as I said before, sitting pretty and allowing the universe to take hold of what is purposely meant to take place in this lifetime. 
let's hold this up a little closer here and so with this card here we have the energy of aquarius scorpio taurus and leo and i feel that that energy i was getting egyptian energy with these bees and then seeing the uh, sphinx here and the strength of that kind of being in an airy sense but not necessarily so it's still there in statue form is how this is being represented which I feel speaks to the ancient ties and the the sturdiness of um, the connection to this Egyptian vibe that I was getting. With the snake here, I'm seeing this energy as being that of healing. And so as the wheel is turning, I feel there's a, kind of an essence of everything being spun, utilizing all four of these energies along with this dog energy, the snake energy, and the sphinx energy. And seeing the arrow that's pointing east. Even though we have other, this, for some reason, I'm getting Sagittarius energy here with this. So that may be significant as far as this Empress is concerned. Sagittarius is a fire sign and that fire energy was quite strong there. And so with this, I do feel that this is speaking to an energy that the Empress is kind of helping herself with, with that surrendering energy. But because of that surrendering energy, this arrow being pointed towards initiation of some sorts. And with this pointing right at this dog here, I would say that this has something to do with past life energy and a completion of that and coming into more of a north node type energy where the past lives are more related to the south node energy but i feel like this is kind of tackling and confirming what has taken place for one and now the wheel is turning coming into whatever um, north node energy may be significant or present for you or for this empress if this is not you but i do feel if this is not you and you see this as someone else with this wheel of fortune being here i feel that um the overall energy on the other side of this because i was getting a strong connection with the three here and this being the third card that there's change that's taking place with this 10 here 10 speaking to endings and coming into very fortunate the word fortune we have here very fortunate new beginnings and so with that being said too i would say in the past lives um in that pisces energy that strong pisces energy where one has gone through all the signs I feel like these signs here may have been significant as far as the path that this Empress has had to take in order for this wheel to begin turning in more of their favor. And I say more of their favor because they're in Empress status here. And so as they continue to come even more into their power and utilizing the energies um, and working with the elements, speaking to the universe, the universe is giving its blessings here. After having gone through the Aquarian cycle, Scorpio cycle, Taurus cycle, Leo cycle. And I do feel, actually, you know what? Since I said that, I just realized that the axis of these signs are present. Where you may have Aquarius, Leo, North Node or South Node. Take it as it resonates. Or you may have Taurus and Scorpio and take that as it resonates as well. Taurus or Scorpio, North Node, South Node. So this, I feel, having everything to do with past life energy and completing that, coming into that and doing the work that's necessary so that you're realizing that you're here for that North Node energy. So just take these as they resonate, but with these clouds kind of dissipating away from this wheel, it's like the blessings are coming in because of the work that's been done and the realizations of what one has to do along their path. And because they're doing it, things are beginning to turn in their favor. That's pretty cool. 
Okay, so the third card, drum roll. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm totally feeling this actually with, um, excuse me, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting some other downloads that are coming in. There's quite a few things that are happening right now. Sorry for that distraction. Um, but with the five of wands here, I'm getting that this is like having to deal with past lives. I feel like these are relationships and that these energies in this lifetime, whether this be in the physical, I feel like this is more spiritual because of the airy energy that I was getting there. But I feel like this is more of a spiritual, like all of these energies are aware of one another in a different realm. Like they're all aware of each other and this is taking place in a totally different realm than the 3D. And so I feel that because this Empress has come into this status here, that the wheel is turning in their favor where they're able to have these options to choose from. And it's almost like may the best man win. And I feel like this is well deserved because of what this Empress has gone through. And the sacrifices that this empress has made in order to get into this new beginning that they're beginning to birth. And I, you know what, I'm also getting to that there may be some here or maybe all of these individuals here that want to have a baby with this empress here because of the uniqueness of this empress and just how special this empress is because there aren't a lot of people who can say that they are empress status who don't do the work um, just because it's their choice or, you know, whatever is their path and what is meant for them. But I do feel that these are individuals who may be in competition with one another that are fighting over this empress and the wheels turning in the favor of the empress as these individuals work through this situation. <laughs> but again, may the best man win. I feel with this five here too, this may be related to a life path number. But also, I'm getting the V for Virgo. There may be strong Virgo energy here where that winner or the one that is chosen by this Empress may have very strong Virgo energy. Juan's energy is Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. We do have Leo that's present in the Wheel of Fortune. So it could be a strong Leo presence that is also in the melee here of this five of wands energy and we do have a total of five where there are additional energies i was getting that sagittarius energy as well so it could be possible that we have an aquarius we have a scorpio we have a taurus and we have a leo and also a sagittarius in this card but i feel that this has been brought to light as well. There may have been some confusion about a situation and what was actually happening. And with the clouds moving away here, with the wheel turning, I think that this Empress is beginning to see just how powerful and how worthy and valuable they truly are because they have more than one option. And they're all abundant. They all have something to offer. And it could be possible, too, that um, there's not necessarily one that's being chosen. It could be meant for this empress to be totally in her own. And just take this as it resonates. This is totally about the energy that's present. This is not gender specific. But I feel that maybe this is also dealing with the past life karmas of speaking on and working through all of that. And this being in relation to these individuals here. So having to go through what they went through experiencing different relationships and closing the karmas that are related to each of these individuals here in this card. But wonderful things are happening as with any positive that takes place, a negative is bound to follow in order to have that harmony and that balance that is necessary to be able to move forward. So I do feel that this being the third card, this is a very strong tie, just as I said, and I was feeling to the Empress here where there are past life energies that are coming about that are all aware of each other. Just And some of these may be in the 3D together, some may not, but I feel all together, 
all of these energies are aware of one another just in a different realm so let's see what the fourth card is <laughs> Lord, Lord, Lord. Okay, so with this coming out, um, and this coming, <laughs> this coming underneath the Empress, I laugh because this just speaks to the amount of power. I don't get this as being a negative energy. This is Capricorn energy that's present here. Where speaking with the Queen of Pentacles energy coming from the Empress, I feel that this Empress may have strong Capricorn qualities here where their intuitiveness is related in a fiery way, but also in a very strong Capricornian way, where they are the greatest of all time. And because they are the greatest of all time, the GOAT, this energy here in this lifetime, like they're here to sit and revel in that and to be able to experience the great things that life and love have to offer. And so I feel that the amount of power that they have been destined, that they have been granted by the universe here, is just something that's very, very potent. And I feel that's what this devil energy is speaking to. And I'm not getting like, I'm not getting any kind of bond with a particular energy. I'm getting overall that this is the masculine and feminine energy that I was speaking to with this Empress coming into that and having that balance there with that three energy, the masculine and the feminine energy and being connected to the divine. And I feel that because of that, this is the potency of their energy that they bring. And I'll bring this closer so we can see the significance of this. And then with the fire energy, with the three levels that we have here, where we have mentioned Sagittarius, Leo, now I'm getting, you know, seeing this here that this may be also, like I know this is a goat, but I'm seeing this as like a ram type energy too, which is giving me Aries vibes and the fire that's kind of speaking a little bit loudly in this card. Overall looking at it because it's the brightest thing in this card here. And if you want to take even a closer look, this may even be, you know, the relation between a Venus energy and an energy that's related to the devil energy, where there's a very passionate connection between two. There's a cross here and a cross here. And so I feel that these are matching energies here where there's a, a very strong, passionate vibe that not only is coming from this Empress, but a particular energy that may be involved in this Five of Wands energy here. Let's bring that a little closer here. And so also too, with this being um, a card of 15, that breaks down to a six. Sixes for me are about love and I just feel like this is a very, like this energy is so potent and the love that one may feel for this Empress can be very strong because of the magnet, the magnetism that this Empress is bringing. But I do feel this also may be like, I'm not getting like a, a, a bond type of tie, but I do feel that one of these energies or maybe more no, I'm not going to say that because there's only one cross here that I feel is matching to this Venus energy. As I was saying here, there may be one particular choice here that this Empress is interested in. And this is that energy that is becoming present here. Where there's mirroring energies here with the cross here. Almost like a tattoo of some sort. But it's not a tattoo for the Empress. It's on her shield. Representative of Venus and the Venus energy that she withholds within herself, also tied into the moon energy because the, the Venus energy um, tends to give light on the energy of love and all that good stuff. But also the Venus energy is of the moon, moon goddess type energy that takes place in the night and is also connected to the dark. And so I feel this is like the, the energy of both the masculine and feminine energy of the Empress where this Empress is able to 
be a lord of the underworld, be able to be that road to the underworld because of the Venus energy that they encompass. But then also being able to be that sunlight as well. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Where their energy is just, again, so potent because they encompass not only the light, but the dark as well. And so I feel with, with this energy overall, there's a great harmony here, a very great harmony here and a good balancing as well. But they're also able to, with their strength and their power, be able to <laughs> have these individuals working through these past life karmas kind of go through this chaotic energy here fighting, which I do feel strongly they're fighting over this empress here just because of how powerful she really is. And some, again, wanting to have her baby. So we are coming upon the fifth card here. Where there's going to be a presence of more than one five. And with this breaking down to a six, this is going to present another six energy here as well. But there's also a five here present. And then we have two tens here. And so you may be seeing ten ten. You may be seeing five five. You may be seeing threes consecutively. Or um, I would say 369. And with that being said, that ties me back to the Aries Moon reading um, that I just did, where there was a strong 369 energy in their reading. So if you're connected to an Aries or you have Aries energy in your chart, I would recommend checking that out. These readings have been very, very strong and impactful. I'm very, very... I don't, I can't even express, like... I'm so proud of everybody because I feel like everybody is like coming to the dawn, like being in the dark, but also coming to the light and having, you know, situations in life where they're working through things and finding balance in their lives and within themselves. And I just think that's that's awesome. So let's see what the fifth card is. Yes, I was just saying this. So this is great. That's so wonderful. Maybe I should just be quiet and just go to the <laughs> to the cards but it only confirms what i was feeling and what i was saying so with the full energy here and being under the wheel of fortune with that empress energy here where i feel there's harmony and there's balance that's being brought this is being able to come into that full status coming to a new beginnings where we have these tens here speaking to the endings of things and situations Past life karmas, breaking through all these energies here, you know, possibly going through each relationship and having to close karmas, close out things while these energies are still kind of going through this situation here. But because of the potency and the power of one and the balance of one now coming into this full status here where there is uh, someone, which I do feel is the empress having to deal with this wheel of fortune where the universe is turning things in their favor, taking a leap of faith. And I feel like because this fool is facing towards this devil energy, I feel like that's the leap of faith, embracing both the dark and the light. Realizing that this Venus energy isn't the societal concept that has been traditionally taught but also embracing this dark energy as well and because they're doing that they're able to be in this full status being carefree being excited about a new beginning feeling on top of the world breathing in beautiful fresh air close to the sun the sun being a beautiful happiness and joy that sun energy that i was getting here that's kind of speaking to that as well now this could also be a different energy where things are turning in their favor and bringing a full energy present towards this empress. Now, this could be you or this could be you here. But I do feel that these are connected here where the empress is encompassed. And mm, I'm getting so excited. Sorry. Where the empress has embodied this full status and because of that, that is being presented out in the physical where the wheel is turning in their favor and they're beginning to meet their match. Where there is a passionate energy here, this devil energy here between this empress and this fool. Which 
I feel is an energy that may be a part of this energy here in this five of wands. And because they have done the work, because they have seen the transformations of this empress, it has enlightened them with that sun energy the empress embodies, enlightened them to become better, to do what it is that they're meant to do on their life's purpose as well and coming into that and falling, you know, wanting to fall all into this is what I'm, I'm strongly getting there. And then um, before I move on, because I don't feel like there's much to even explain. Like it's all like the fire energy. I'm definitely seeing this as like the fire and being tied to this masculine energy. So having balance with the masculine and feminine. This feminine has brought about masculine energy who's beginning at full status. Feeling abundant, happy, joyful, and free, ready to take on anything that comes about because they too are able to embrace the both the, the dark and the light. They have been enlightened, I feel. This Empress has enlightened this fool to be able to come into this full status. And this could be one of these signs here. But as I was getting ready to say, the dogs, the significance of that Sagittarian arrow going towards the dog, here we have a dog here. And so the dog could be a messenger. It could be just a strong tie that's related to this connection here, if this is a connection, which I do strongly get that it is a connection um, between two people. But with that dog energy, I feel as the wheel has been turning, the universe has, you know, the universe knows what they're doing. You know, it's all up to us to surrender and to be able to trust the universe and to allow them to do their work. Sometimes we get in the way of that. And so I feel with the surrendering of this all, this is brought about the birth of something new, where now we have the wheel turning and the, I feel the fool is just kind of dropped from this like a like a, a gold nugget as the wheel's been turning because these are golden signs here too with the aquarius scorpio taurus and leo energy there which i do feel is also related to the north node and south node energies as well but it could be possible this is leo energy seeing that sun and the sun being right underneath the leo energy this could be that Leo, that strong Leo energy that I was speaking on before. So there could be a Leo present in this Empress's life where they either have a pet or there is some kind of strong tie to the dog related to this Leo energy here. And I am getting very strong Leo energy here with that fire there as well, with that being a fire sign too. And I know this is part of the cloth, but this looks like fire to me. That just looks like the flames and the flames here. This could be twin flame energy that we have here as well, or very strong, very, very strong soulmate from a past life that just embodies really strong Leo energy. And they may live in the mountains. They may like to travel to the mountains or be in the mountains, meditate in the mountains. But the matching energies of the yellow here are very strong here as well. And then that zero, this can pretty much, you can say this could be a zero as well with the masculine and feminine balance and then the connection to the divine related to this zero here, that wheel energy there where there's mirroring energy here with that the circle, the circle. So that's pretty cool. Very, very cool. The fool, I do feel, is learning a lot. That's that intellect that is part of that enlightenment from that fool where they've learned quite a bit through their journeys by experiencing and seeing the empress go through their journeys as well. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, so thank you, universe, because the song that's coming on right now, <laughs> it's titled Special Kind of Fool. There's no irony there, and it's no coincidence. I think that's pretty neat. And again, I'll say thank you, universe. So let's see what the sixth card is. This is the last card, and the sun has set. There's a very strong, powerful energy here, and I do feel it's a connection that's taking place between two. Very strong ties to ancient Egyptian background and something that's been destined to take place and to come together that may have not come to full fruition as it was needed. I would say probably related to planetary energies uh, this energy here where this may have taken place in, you know, different lives over lifetimes and lifetimes and just continue. But the power of the Empress here is putting all of this to an end, being able to close this out and finally come to come down to one. Where this energy actually wants to do that work, is willing and wanting to take that leap of faith. The sixth card we have here is the Nine of Wands. So with this, I would say that this is what this fool, I feel like this is all the story. I feel like this is the main tie here, the connector between this Empress and this fool. But this story pertains up here to the Empress and this story down here pertains to this fool here. Or... The Nine of Wands energy here. And I did mention that 369 energy where there was the three energy and then the six. And then this being the six card. Now we have the nine. So I would definitely, if you have not, check out the Aries Moon reading. But the Nine of Wands is known as the, the uh, Wounded Warrior. And this is all related to Chiron. So depending on what your Chiron is in your birth chart, uh, I would say if you don't know that, I would definitely look into that. If you notice here, we have one, two, three, four, five wands. This is falling underneath the five of wands. So we have this energy doubled, which confirms what I was saying about this energy. Like, I feel like this has gone on for lifetimes. And because of the power of the Empress, it's bringing that stuff to a close where this someone here in this five of wands energy is a wounded warrior coming out of this and has gone through this five of wands energy reflecting on this but also seeing themselves going to full status because of what they have gone through and because they're going into full status i feel that there is a connection that is coming about where they are manifesting this empress and this new beginning into their life. Ninth house is also dealing with Sagittarius. That's that Sagittarius energy where I felt this, this arrow here was very strong and signifying the Sagittarius energy, which is also pointing to the dog. We have a dog here. The tie is right there. That three of wands manifesting energy here is very strong here as well. The nine energy also is representative of humanitarian energy. So this person is a very strong person in their community who enjoys and lives to help others. And that could be a very, a very special part of their purpose as well. And they may have been doing something that wasn't related to that. But seeing, again, seeing this Empress go through the changes that they've made and the power that the Empress is giving off, it's almost like it's unavoidable. Like if you come into contact with this empress, you're bound to make change. If you're making prayer and asking for change in your life, I feel this empress becomes present in your life. And I feel that this has been taking place for this, this nine of wands energy and also for these energies up here. But for some reason, you know, everyone has a choice and it just is possible that these energies have chosen to stay kind of stuck where they are lifetimes after lifetimes after lifetimes where this one particular energy I was feeling is willing to make change and take that leap of faith. And they're both golden and glowing. 
both the Empress and the Fool. And here we have this wounded warrior also holding an Ace of Wands here, an individual wand here to complete that nine. Nine coming to the completion status, going into that 10 energy of endings and breaking down to the zero, the full status before going into a new beginning, taking a leap of faith before coming into that, that Ace energy there. So I think that is so awesome. Um, I would say I'm going to go, we're going to look at the bottom of the deck and see what that energy here is. And so I feel with this Knight of Pentacles energy, I feel this is related to someone who may be present in this Five of Wands energy. I'm not getting that this is going to be anything that is of any prime significance, I do feel that this Knight of Pentacles is making their way out of this Five of Wands here, but because it's Knight of Pentacles and the movement that is associated with this Knight of Pentacles, that they are attempting to make an offer is just coming in really, really slow. So I'm going to turn that back over and I'm actually going to see what the seventh card is to see if we can get some clarity on what is coming about even though we have the full card and the Wheel of Fortune here, kind of speaking to the wheel turning in the favor of the Empress here and also the full and the connection, I feel that they're both kind of encompassing moving forward. If you see that the Empress would be in a motion forward towards this devil energy with it being underneath and then the full moving towards this energy as well. I feel like this is a very passionate connection between two where a force couldn't be interfering with this. It's also possible too, that this energy is totally separate from this full energy as well. Where I do feel overall, this could be one particular energy, but I'm getting I'm starting to feel like this is someone who may be like in a five of cups energy. This could be someone from that five of wands energy who is still in the melee of fighting, still focused on this five of wands as their head is turned towards this five of wands. But I feel like they're also seeing this fool, this, this golden nugget gem be dropped from the universe here where they may have been, this could be this Knight of Pentacles energy here where they have just taken a little bit too much long or too not too much long too much time um to move forward towards this empress here and making an offer of stability and now they're in this wounded warrior phase going through this coming upon an ending mind you um because we are at a nine here but i am getting that as well so just take that as it resonates too and i'm starting to feel that more strongly now that this has come about and I'm going to see, let's see what's trying to peek through here. All right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is speaking to overall stability. And this is another 10. We have three tens that have been present in this reading here. But I feel that with the start of the Empress, this is speaking definitely to what the stability is all about here with this Wheel of Fortune turning in the favor of this empress dropping this golden nugget of a fool here where there's a very strong passionate connection here between two so let's see what the seventh card is real quick here right yeah i'm definitely getting now that actually you know what what i'm gonna do here because this is what I'm feeling here. I'm feeling that this is one force here, almost like a directional force with the north and the south and the east and the west. But we have four cards here. And so these cards here, I feel because of the energy that they bring and how far away it is from the Empress, 
that it's meant to be protect like the empress is meant to be protected from from this here from by the universe here and the universe is bringing this golden nugget of a fool here where there's a very strong connection between these two this could be also a very much younger person than the empress here so with the five of pentacles coming out here like the energy that i'm getting here like it's all in the same vibration here where one is feeling left out in the cold and because of the look of this nine excuse me this nine of wands here and just how they're looking at this five of wands and probably you know feeling like you know what did i do and why did i even get involved in this why did i continue to stay in this i had this offer like it's almost like they have this offer of the ace of wands and this pinnacle here but they've just been really slow about it and so they're in a regretful state and because this empress has come into this power and has manifested this new beginning for themselves it's almost like they were underestimated and this nine of wands energy is on looking and now seeing the empress moving on with the help of the universe with the new beginning and they're feeling left out in the cold with this five of pentacles energy here and slowly i would say as slowly as they were making the offer they're slowly moving away as well where it may be a little bit difficult to be able to move forward and move on they may have had a friend or an accomplice or someone that was present in their energy that kept them in the slow mode here as well where they were influenced and being a part of this battle here and all this here is all contributing i feel and notice where i just put this here like it's like this is four and this is four four and four makes eight so overall we have abundance where you know there's abundance for everybody but with the choices that we make and the path that we take i feel that has everything to do with how the universe works with us and for us as far as bringing about what it is that we so wish to see in our lives and dealing with our destiny. So Cancer Moons, this was your reading. Uh, just take this as it resonates. You know, if this is on your end here, continue to move forward knowing that greatness is always going to be there for you just as it is on this end here with the empress here and the will of fortune and things turning in the favor of the empress possibly because of what they have gone through with the experience of what was being brought by this particular energy but great things are happening for everyone overall i would say i would just say that this empress has really come into their own power and is now beginning to see what it is that's meant for them and what they have been dreaming and wishing for. So I thank you so much for being here. I hope that these messages were helpful and brought some enlightenment and also empowerment. And I do wish you all the best. Do take great care. I love you. Peace.